Hi, this is Ed with Richie Industries. I'm gonna do another video for you today. Today we're gonna to install a self-regulating heat cable. Unit we have in front of us here is a Dairy Fount 8. We're gonna go ahead and get at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove, remove the valve cover. Set that aside. You can see our three-quarter inch valve. So I have my self-regulating heat cable. And I'm just gonna wrap this around this valve quick. So all of our units that don't have the heat installed, whether it's got the three quarter inch valve or the half inch valve, are all gonna use the same heat cable, self-regulating heat cable. And they're also going to use the same optional immersion heater that would go underneath the float here in the valve chamber. So I've got my heat cable wrapped around my valve. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of my enclosed, the zip ties that are enclosed with your package, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of those right up here. Now what I'm looking for here is just to get that good and snug to the valve. So our self-regulating heat cable does not have a thermostat per se in it. This cable is able to regulate itself. Every inch of this cable is determining whether it needs to be warmer or cooler. So there is no thermostat in it. It's just kind of, uh, well, it's a self-regulating heat cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my heat cable down by my water line. And uh, the rest of the work I'm gonna be doing is probably gonna be underneath. I'll get that snake down there. My cable with my plug-in down there. And while I'm up here, I'm just gonna put one more zip tie. Make sure all of this is staying good and snug. And I'm gonna put one more zip tie right up here on my water line, past my, past my T. I'm gonna get that kind of snug and then I can push it down so that I can get a little bit of a tight area there but I wanna make sure my heat cable stays in contact with my water line. So what we're looking for here with these zip ties, we don't want to crank them so tight that we're pinching it off and we are trying to get our heat cable set up so that it is not crossing, lapping over itself. And I'm just gonna use a wire cutter here to snip off the end of that so I don't have that hanging out. Okay, so now we're gonna take off our access panel so we can get access underneath the unit. Got my half inch box end wrench. Crescent wrench works too. I'm just gonna loosen this bolt here on our latch. Swing that down. That access panel pulls free. Be careful not to remove this bolt too far. There is a retainer on the inside. If you remove this bolt too far, your retainer will fall loose and you might lose it down your riser tube. Now this is our test area. So a lot of what you may see underneath is stuff we have in, installed here. So we can run a variety of units. We have wires, bare wires here for, well not bare wires, but we have wires in here plugged off for 120 volt units. We have wires in there for two, 240 volt units. And we also have our uh, plug-in for immersion heater and uh, cable heater. I'm going to use my cover as a kneeling pad so I don't have to kneel on the wet concrete here. And I'm going to go underneath and find my heat cable. And what I'm going to do is just take that heat cable and kind of wrap it loosely on the water line as I bring it down. What that's going to do is help keep that heat cable in close contact with the water line. So here you can see I have that water line loosely wrapped with the heat cable. By, by going just a couple turns around that, it really helps keep that heat cable in contact with the water line. I'm gonna go ahead and put a zip tie on that now just to, re, just to restrain it in one area. So you'll notice the remainder of my heat cable. 
I'm just going to snake that down into my riser tube and that will help keep that riser tube area nice and warm for my water line. Just shove that in there as far as you can. The other end of my heat cable with my plug, I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. This is an enclosed water resistant quad or duplex box that we put underneath here for this. Highly recommended. Plug that in. I can run the cord out through the slot and then I can close my cover. Any moisture that may be underneath the unit now is somewhat protected from my outlet. And that is the installation of a heat cable. All we have to do is put the cover back on in the access panel and we'll be done. Thanks for watching. For more information, please check us out on the web at www.richiefount.com.